Welcome to Vibacity, your home of latest entertaining videos, news, gist, and more hot updates. Ladies and gentlemen, Vibe citizens and all newcomers get ready to be immersed in the extraordinary journey of a true musical sensation. Welcome to Vibe City HQ. Today, we're embarking on a remarkable odyssey through the life and artistry of none other than Alaus and the Yakuza. But before we dive into this captivating story, make sure you're part of the Vibe Citizens by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. You won't want to miss a single detail. Marie-Pierre Kakoma, born on May 26, 1996, is the creative genius behind the stage name Lao and the Yakuza. Hailing from a rich blend of Belgian and Congolese heritage, her music is a captivating fusion of pop, RB, and the mesmerizing rhythms of Congo. But Luz and the Yakuza's journey goes far beyond the beats and melodies. Her lyrics are a profound exploration of emotions, identity, and the complexities of love. They touch the very essence of who we are, inviting us to reflect on our own lives. Her artistry is a testament to her ability to connect with her audience on a deep emotional level. But what truly sets Lowe's and the Yakuza apart is her unique artistic style and the spellbinding charisma she brings to her live performances. It's not just music. It's an experience, a journey into the heart and soul of an artist whose star is undoubtedly on the rise. And the best part, this is only the beginning. As we delve further into this incredible biography, we'll unveil the secrets behind her distinctive tattoos, explore her age, trace her meteoric rise in the music industry, dive into her personal life, dissect her impressive discography, and of course, reveal the tantalizing details of her net worth. So prepare to be captivated, entertained, and utterly mind blown as we journey through uh, the fascinating life and career of Laos and the Yakuza. Stay tuned, Vibe Citizens, because this story is about to get even more enthralling in the heart of what was once known as Zaire, now the Democratic Republic of the Congo on May 26, 1996. A future star was born. Laos and the Yakuza's journey began in a home where the resonance of music was inescapable. Her parents were not your average household practitioners. They were esteemed doctors in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Laos and the Yakuza's Congolese father, a gynecologist, and her Wandan mother, a specialist in pediatrics, dedicated their lives to healing others. However, the path they tread was not without its share of challenges. In the tumultuous period of the Second Congo War in 1998, Lowemu's mother faced an ordeal that would test her strength. She endured two months of unjust imprisonment solely because of her ethnicity, a harrowing experience that would undoubtedly leave a lasting impact. At the age of 16, Laos and the Yakuza embarked on a life-altering journey, relocating to Belgium with her mother and stepfather. In this new environment, she found the fertile ground to nurture her artistic talents and cultivate the unique musical style that would set her on a trajectory to stardom. The year 2015 marked a significant turning point in her life. Laos and the Yakuza made her debut in the music industry with the release of her single, Dilemmi. Connect with art, I guess emotions. Music is the medium I used for expressing my emotion. And on the other side, Painting is the medium I use to express my reflection. Creating for Sotheby's is an incredible honor. I get to pick my favorite piece of art and have it around mine, which is also crazy. Like every painting is the result of intense thinking. Like that's what I do when I paint, I just think. This one is called Naissance, which means birth. I was born in 1996. And there's two things written on it. My love, mon amour, in French, and attends-moi, and wait for me. That's what I've been doing since I was born, waiting for love. And then you have Malik Sidibé. This picture is so pretty. It reminds me of my family. The outfit, the haircut, everything reminds me of um, Congo. But I love this picture. I think it's so calming. I wish I had this one. I might buy it. Laos and the Yakuza, the musical prodigy born as Marie Pierre Kakoma, didn't just stumble into her stage name. She meticulously crafted it, revealing a glimpse into her artistic soul. Laos is an anagram of soul, symbolizing her profound musical passion, and Yakuza represents her close knit crew of collaborators, an embodiment of her artistic journey. Her story in the music industry is nothing short of remarkable. In 2017, the digital world became her stage when she was discovered by her manager, Miguel Fernandez 
This marked the commencement of her extraordinary musical odyssey. He took her first steps into the music scene in Brussels, forming a band with friends and captivating audiences in the underground music scene. The turning point came later that year when her debut single, Dilemmy, took the world by storm. It get, quickly gained massive popularity, catching the attention of none other than Columbia Record. This led to a record deal that would pave the way for her much anticipated album, Gorlaus and the Yakuza's music is a silky fusion of trap, RB, and pop, a unique concoction that has earned her international acclaim and a special place in the hearts of music enthusiasts. But let's his talents extend beyond the realm of music. She graced the runway for Chloe during Paris Fashion Week in 2020, showcasing her versatility and flair for the arts. In 2021, she collaborated with Italian rapper Sfera Ebesta on the hit track June Says Pass and took the stage at the prestigious San Remo Music Festival, further solidifying her status as an international sensation. Her reach extended even further when she participated in the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games handover ceremony alongside Woodkid, captivating audiences on a global stage. And the story doesn't end there. In 2023, Laos and the Yakuza ventured into the world of acting, securing a guest role in the highly anticipated John Wick, Chapter 4. Now, let's peek into the personal world of Laos and the Yakuza, a space she has kept intentionally private despite her widespread fame. And let's not forget the mystery she loves to keep about her boyfriend, a uh, secret hidden from the prying eyes of the public. But beyond the protective shield of her personal life lies a story of a captivating childhood. During her formative years, Laos and the Yakuza harbored an insatiable passion for manga. The pages filled with tales of the Middle Ages and antiquity resonating with valor and heroism held her in rapt fascination. The words of Cicero and the historical narratives of those bygone eras left an indelible mark on her young mind. It's in these tales of old that we can trace the origins of her storytelling prowess, a cornerstone of her music. She seamlessly weaves personal experiences with broader societal issues, creating a lyrical tapestry that's as rich as the stories that inspired her. But there's more to Laos in the Yakuza than just her, you know, artistic brilliance. Uh, she's an advocate for mental health awareness, openly sharing her own struggles with anxiety and depression, her candidness and vulnerability, evident both in her music and her personal life, have endeared her to a dedicated fan base. It's a testament to the profound connection that she shares with her audience, a connection that goes beyond the music and delves into the depths of shared human experiences. Coucou Vogue, c'est Lucien de Yakuza et vous pouvez venir me suivre, on va se préparer pour le show Louis Vuitton. Le show est dans une heure et demie je pense. Ce qu'il me reste à faire c'est me, me greffer des cheveux. <rire> me greffer des cheveux, euh, je dois finir quelques retouches de make-up et euh, puis m'habiller bien évidemment. Ça y est, je suis prête. Je me sens hyper fraîche, maxi fraîche tu vois. Je suis content d'avoir un pantalon, triste de ne pas avoir de top parce que c'est l'hiver. Mais bon c'est pas grave. And I'm ready to go. Now, let's explore the mesmerizing world of Laos and the Yakuza's discography where her musical brilliance shines through. Her debut at Gore, unveiled to the world in 2020, marked the beginning of an illustrious journey. This remarkable collection features the hit single Dilemmy, a song that resonated with audiences around the globe. Gore wasn't just any release. It was met with critical acclaim, even earning her a prestigious Best New International Act nomination at the 2020 Bet Awards. It was a testament to the impact she made on the music scene. But Laos and the, the Yakuza's influence extends beyond her to low work. He has collaborated with renowned artists such as Gorillaz and Strome, showcasing her versatility as a musician. Her unique blend of genres and her ability to tell powerful stories through her music have solidified her as a force to be reckoned with in the music world. And there you have it, the extraordinary life and career of Laos and the Yakuza, a rising star who's captured our hearts with her mesmerizing music and inspiring journey. From the depths of her early life to the soaring heights of her career, we've uncovered the secrets behind her tattoos, her age, her net worth, her songs, her boyfriend, and even her ventures into acting. It's a story of talent. 
resilience, and unwavering determination, and it's far from over. We hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the world of Laos and the Yakuza. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming journeys into the lives of the most remarkable personalities. As always, thank you for being part of the Vibe City HQ, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Stay vibing, Vibe Citizens. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Survivor City.